Welcome back to MMA Asbrick. I'm Frank Trigg. That's Liam McGeary getting ready to fight Mike Mutaselli coming up here on Bellator May 2nd this weekend. Uh, Liam, where are you right now? Um, I'm in Tom's River at the moment. And where and who have you been training with to get ready for this fight? Um, Henzo, I've been training at Henzo Graces in uh, Manhattan. Um, a few big names training down there, so uh, a few just big a guys. Just a couple of guys that train out of Henzo's. No, no one important. No one important. <laughs> How's, how long have you been over at Henzo's? Um, I've been there since, I think, April now. April last year. Okay. And you made, so you made the permanent move over to the States. You left England entirely. You're over at the Henzo's now full-time? Yeah, I'm at Henzo's full-time. I mean, I'm, I'm still on a visa, so I have to leave and come back and, and all that ha hassle. But it's, it's all worth it in the end. When you have to leave, how long do you have to leave for? Um, I just have to go back and sort all the paperwork out and then uh, interviews at the embassy and then... That that took that took five months this time. Oh wow! So you would you had to take geez, that's a long that is a long time. It was now, a long, it was a long process. Yeah. When you go home, well, home. When you go back to London. Do you do you or back to England? Do you have to do? You, what do you train at when you're back in England? I live in uh, Jersey, Channel Islands, so I, I, I tend to go straight over there. And uh, it's a uh, it's a Braulio Estima um, affiliate club, it's the Gracie Baja Channel Islands. So I, I train there, and um, there's some good level jujitsu there. So. I'm always, I'm always training. Good. Okay. So I wasn't sure if you got, you know, sometimes guys go home and they sit for five months while waiting for the paperwork to, to fill itself no. out. I can't sit down for that long. <laughs> All right. Well, you're 6-0. and oh, um, And the biggest complaint that I have on your first three fights is that no one really knows who they are, where they came from. And, and they were like, when you first got into Bellator, when you were 3-0, and oh, it was like, oh, well, his quality of competition is not that good. Then you get into Bellator and TKO, KO, Submission. Now let's go back to your first three fights. Submission, submission, KO. So yeah. th there's there's a one. There's 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 something that comes across with usually with guys of your size at at, at the at the two hundred five weight class. You're a finisher, and you finish every single time that that you've competed thus far. And yeah. you do not go that deep that deep in the water. So you don't get into the later rounds, specifically because you're just you're too hot, you're too big and too powerful. Now the very first fight you ever had. You did go, you almost got the full fight, but that was it. You went to the third round of your very first fight. From the end. But that was it. I mean, that, that's the closest. I mean, that is that is the deepest you've ever gone. Everything since then has been first round, second round, first round, first round, first round. Like, so you're getting things done very, very quickly. I just wanted to see if I could fight for 15 minutes. It was my first fight, so I was just, just testing myself. I was going to ask, because it doesn't seem like that you do that anymore. Your style kind of changed from your first fight to your second fight, where you were a lot more aggressive in trying to finish. It makes sense now. Yeah. In your first fight, I'm only trying to go. I was trying to see how I could do it. Is um, how do you break down Mike? I know you've seen tape on him, and I know you get you're, you're prepared for him. But how do you see him coming at you as a competitor? Um, he's a, he's a tough guy, you know. I mean, every every guy in Bellator is a tough guy. So you just got to take every every opponent you have as a tough fight, you know, and just train for it. You put in the hard work in the gym, and then it pays off in the in the cage. For your for your mindset, do you want to tr make this more of a ground battle, or do you want to make this more of a stand up war? To me, man, it, it really doesn't make no difference where the fight goes. I, I like to fight standing up. But I like to fight on the ground. That's why the last fight I wanted to show a submission off because everybody's seen that I could knock people out. So I just wanted to show a little bit of jujitsu off, and then just so there's more to me than me to you know. Who's going to corner you for this fight? Is uh is Henzo coming in your corner this time? No, Henzo won't be in the corner this time. I think he's busy. But um, I've got um, Jamal Patterson, James Mills, and Jason Strout in uh, in my corner this time. Now, Atlantic City, New Jersey, is where the fight is. So Atlantic City, from from you, is just a couple hours. So it's a it's basically hometown territory, at least yeah. at this point. Uh, yeah. When are you, when are you going to head over to the hotel, and when are you going to head over to to get settled in? I leave on Tuesday for Tuesday night. I've got to be at six o'clock. Okay, so you driving over, obviously, or is it not making you take a helicopter? I, I haven't even thought about it yet. I think I'm, I'm going to get a lift somehow. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, Bellator, no. Bellator didn't send the, the corporate helicopter over for you. No, no, not yet. <laughs> Wait till I'm world champion for that one. <laughs> so how how is how has Bellator been treating you? Like how how have you how have you felt comfortable? Have you felt comfortable over there? Is Bellator been treating you correctly? Do you feel like you're getting the right pay for the amount of work you're putting in? Yeah, I mean, uh, they had to see what I could uh, offer, really. Because, I mean, like I say, I came in as a 3-0 and fighter from, from a different country. You know, they didn't even know, have a clue who I was or what I could do. So I needed to show them that I was the real deal, you know. And, and that's why I went in 
and and I went into those fights, the last three fights, and just showed them, man, I, I can fight, you know, and I can finish a fight, and and I can finish in an exciting way as well, you know. So now hopefully they've seen what I can do last year. That this year opens up a lot more doors and a lot more money as well. Yeah, of course. Last question before I let you out of here. A lot of folks at home, because you're only six and zero. A lot of folks at home haven't seen you fight yet. If you had to explain to them your fight style, what would you say? For, for the guys back home? Yeah, no, for, for the folks here in the States that haven't seen you fight before. They have no idea who you are. They don't know what you, how you've done or anything. Like, they're just sitting at home for the first time watching you fight this next weekend. What, right. How do you explain your fight style? Exciting. You know, constantly battling, never stopping. For Even if a fight goes for 15 minutes, expect 15 minutes of violence. You know, I mean, you're sitting, I think it's about two and a half minutes in total for the last three fights. Yeah. I'll do that for 15 minutes the whole fight. You know, it's just, I just hope the person can take a punch. Yeah, that's, that's the, that is, seems to be the biggest flaw, is that your opponent yeah. so far hasn't been able to take your punches. And so they yeah. You need to find somebody that's a little bit tougher in the chin to be able to handle what, you, what you're giving out. Exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, Liam, thanks for spending a couple minutes with us here at MMA Oddsbreaker. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. No worries, Frank. Thanks very much for having me.